Okay, so the first thing I need to do is just get in here and pop out. There's a little plastic cover at the back of the tap that covers up where the Allen key is. So I'm using a number three Allen key. Now this is not the easiest tool to get in here, but this is the only one I've got. So I'm just going to undo the little nut that holds the handle onto the tap mechanism. The handle's gonna come right off. Now there is a cosmetic covering on here. You can just come off with your fingers. Put that off to the side. Now we'll see there's the brass fitting that's actually holding the mechanism in. Just with my crescent wrench, a few turns, just undo it with your fingers. Okay, and that brass cover comes off, I'll put it to the side. So this is the actual mechanism itself. So depending on the vintage of your tap, you may have this model, or you may have, apparently this is the newer one you can see side by side, it has a shorter end to it. So check with your plumbing shop to see which is the one that fits and you'll notice the end looks different as well. So then we'll put the new one in and it will lock into position when you've got it with the right orientation. And then we just reverse the procedure. Put the brass fitting on. Okay, so I go finger tight my crescent wrench, I will snug it. Not too tight, just firm. Put the cosmetic covering back on, finger tight. And put the handle back on. And with your Allen key, back in there and now we're going to tighten it. So the Allen key that has the bend in it, it's probably a little bit easier to get in. It's the only one that I had. And then you can put your little plastic button cover and the little notch at the front actually points outwards. It's the only way that that will go in. to line it up and then in you go and then you can turn your water back on and check to make sure that everything's good.